Welcome to your U.S. Army Central Update. I'm Army Sergeant Rick Bush. Every year in Washington, D.C. and on military installations across the globe, service members and civilians are given an opportunity to honor their faith and religion. Army Staff Sergeant Jaime Hernandez takes us to a national prayer breakfast at Camp Arifjan, Kuwait. The National Prayer Breakfast has a long and storied tradition dating back to 1941 when the first one was held in Seattle, Washington. The unit ministry team on Camp Arifjan, Kuwait continues to treat it like it's always the first one. Oh, it's a great honor to be able to participate in a National Prayer Breakfast, whether it be here on Camp Arifjan or back in the States or even in Germany or, Co or Korea. And anytime I can have the honor of helping set up and execute a National Prayer Breakfast, I'm grateful for that opportunity. The venue was at full capacity and all ears were listening when the guest speaker shared his thoughts about the event. Today is a great day to recognize the service of our military members, the example they set for all of us. It's also a great day in that service to recognize the power of prayer. As shown in Seattle in 1941, they came together in prayer, and through prayer they, you strengthen your commitment, your daily lives, well, you strengthen your faith. General Hickman's remarks were well received and the prayer breakfast deemed a success. National prayer breakfasts usually have really great turnouts and today on Camp Arif John there was no difference. We had a great turnout of soldiers and civilians which is always great to have us here together as one family and so we're appreciative of everyone who took the time to come out and celebrate the 2016 National Prayer Breakfast with us today. That was your U.S. Army Central Update. I'm Army Sergeant Rick Bush.